Welcome to World War Z, a third-person shooter based on the hit Paramount film pitting you and your friends against countless hordes of zombies. I'm Oliver, creative director at Saber Interactive, here to give you a gameplay overview of our co-op campaign mode in which you'll fight through a series of intense episodes set in striking locations from across the world. Each episode has its own overarching story, divided into three chapters made up of more focused objectives. Whether boarding a hijacked train, escaping by sea, or delving into an underground facility, you'll be facing masses of undead. This means when your squad first jumps into a chapter, you're going to want to stay as quiet as possible. Noise attracts zombies, and the game will spawn far more for your team to deal with if you run in guns blazing. World War Z's AI director is constantly adapting to how you play through each chapter. If your squad seems to be progressing a bit too easily, don't be surprised if you run into a colossal horde just around the corner. On the other hand, if your team is preparing to face a horde event with low health and resources, the AI may swing things for you with an extra defensive auto turret or mortar. Knowing when it's best to run and gun, hold defensive choke points, or just sprint like crazy can be the difference between life and death. Between gunning down the undead, you'll also want to keep an eye out for hidden loot. You may find the occasional health kit or ammunition box in your path, but some of the best catches require leaving the beaten track. Special zombies shake things up even further, forcing a change of tactics at a moment's notice. Gas bags will charge your squad, and anything but precise headshots trigger a nasty cloud of toxic gas. Screamers will cause more and more hordes to assault your team until you take them out. Easier said than done when you factor in the other special zombies that may be laying in wait. Depending on your prowess upon completing each chapter, you'll be rewarded with new perks for your chosen class and points towards upgrades for each weapon. As you and your squad unlock more, you'll be able to take on higher difficulties, meaning even greater rewards. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation center as quickly as possible. Space on the ship is limited. Carry only items essential for your daily needs. Keep keeping some And report it to a firefight. is leaving anybody. The subway is our only chance. We take it to Inwood, get to the evac center, and get the fuck out of New York, or we die here. World War Z is a third-person multiplayer action shooter based in the World War Z movie universe. This is just a game about sitting down, having fun, and just having the crap scared out of you when you're chased by thousands of zombies. This game was really designed as a session-based game. If you have 10 or 15 or 20 free minutes, you're gonna wanna sit down, you're gonna wanna play. We think it's a game people are just gonna really enjoy playing with their friends or with people they meet online. Players need to cooperate to survive. And if you run off on your own or you wanna be rogue, you're gonna have a problem. You have to cooperate with your teammates or you'll die. As these massive numbers of enemies are coming towards you, you're raining down grenade launchers, rocket launchers, heavy machine guns, and just watching absolute carnage unfold in front of you. The origin is really just uh, one guy's passion. It was Matt saying, I want to make this game. There's a certain scene in the movie where they are in Jerusalem and Swarms of zombies climb over a wall and when I saw that that's when I realized that we needed to make this game Because if we can recreate this then we have something on our hands I was a huge fan of the book um, And so before I had seen the movie I uh, was already a fan of the franchise We've taken uh, this great source material and then pushed it in a direction that we we tend to enjoy World War Z uh, takes place over a number of different episodes, and each of those episodes tells its own story. Each of those episodes has its own group of survivors. 
most importantly, we wanted to just create characters that had their own unique vibes and personalities. One of my favorite things about demoing this game to the press is seeing their reactions the first time 500 zombies come pouring off the Moscow Bridge towards them. I've heard some colorful language used to describe it. As an enemy, the zombies are utterly fearless. They will throw themselves from the top of skyscrapers to get to you. They will run through fire. They will climb over burning cars. They will track the player. Um, they will follow uh, sound and activity. They will climb on top of each other, creating pyramids to reach you no matter where you are. You wouldn't see um, zombies that look like this if we didn't have the World War Z licensing. There are many, many, many more zombies in our game than in anything else you're going to play. I and mean, what makes them different is the speed at which they appear and the way in which they operate in kind of a cohesive fashion. One thing we really focused on was the physics of these uh, zombies. So we created our own engine called the Swarm Engine. It allows us to have 500 enemies on screen all at the same time, um, not just as individual AI characters, but working as a, as a network, like a school of fish or a flock of birds. All the zombies on the scene are controlled as one single entity. However, when players start to interact with zombies, individual zombies peel off from the swarm and can attack the player individually. The game understands and reacts to the skill level and the actions of the player. And so every time you play the game, the game plays out differently. The more skilled you are, the more enemies you're likely to face. The zombies aren't the only threat in the game. We also have a PvPVE mode where you'll be battling kind of rival human beings. Um, but imagine in the background of that, swarms of 500 zombies all pouring out to attack anything that's alive. Those swarms can be manipulated so that it can be used almost like a sword or a shield. So if I'm on one team and, and let's say, you know, my buddy is playing on the other team, I can project sounds or somehow direct zombie swarms toward him so that he gets distracted and then I can take him out. Saber put a lot of blood and sweat and heart and soul into making this game. We want this to be an enjoyable experience where you kill lots of zombies. Maybe this is going to sound presumptuous or crazy or ridiculous, but we think everyone will enjoy World War Z. We hope that our players will have as much fun playing the game as we had building the game.